Good, well, night everyone, because it is 1 a.m. and I've finally finished the phone project. This is what it looks like after it is completely done. So go ahead, we'll get into the video and I will show you how to make this start to finish. All right, everyone. So first step you wanna do, grab your case out. This one has soft plastic on the inside, rubber, whatever, we'll take it out. And what you're going to do is just <laughs> take a pencil and then just scribble on it. This will make your pattern. Make sure you get all these lines. You don't want to miss anything. Super easy to do though. And this is going to make the pa pattern fit perfectly. You don't have to worry too much up about there. That'll be cut out. So, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out and come back after it's cut out. This is what we're left with. Nice little pattern. And it will fit the back of that phone case perfectly. See that? I'm trying to make sure you can see what's going on. What we're going to do now, we're going to take this pattern right here. You can double check and make sure there's nothing too extra on it. We're going to take this pattern off, trace this onto leather, and we're going to cut that out. This is what we are left with. Fits right down there on that phone case. Let me kind of uh, adjust it. You can kind of see, fits nice on that phone. So what I'm gonna go do now, so we're gonna go ahead, throw some floral in there. Uh, this is a customer's order, so he wants something in there, I forget what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, draw it and tool it up, and then we'll come back. So far, this is what we have done. It's all tooled up, dyed, painted, antiqued. I just put on time lapse because I just figured that's just basic stuff that you should already know. If not, I'll make videos about that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to sew this, not to the case, but I'm gonna sew it just for looks. Uh, it's not The sewing is not gonna hold it onto the case. I just do it because I think it looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this up real quick and then we'll go over and we'll do our edges. Got the edges burnished. I only did one side though with the edge beveler. And when I was burnishing it, I used Martin's mix. When I burnished it, I tried hitting it on an angle. So that way it's angled down on the side, it's smooth on the side, but that way on its bottom, it's straight flat. So I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dye these edges, let them dry, and then we're going to burnish it one more time. edges done the next step you want to do you want to take the phone case where you're gluing it to and you want to scratch it up take sandpaper take I'm gonna use a Dremel but take anything you want to rough that up real good so that way when you get to glue this together it gives it other something real good to bond on right now this is just smooth and it really won't stick on there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with my Dremel Now, 
really rough that case up real good throw some cut marks in there with exacto knife that's going to really help that leather bond to that case so now what i'm going to do i'm going to put a layer of contact cement on the case and on the back of this i'm going to let it get tacky then i'm going to put another layer on the case and another layer on the leather let it get tacky and then put it together Went ahead. This is the second layer of contact cement. It's pretty tacky. See, it's not like glue coming up off. Same thing right here. It means a little wet, but not too bad. So, all you gotta do now is carefully don't screw this up. Put your case on the phone. Make sure it's centered up nice. And then I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm going to push down on it because it's called contact cement for a reason. And that's about that. I mean, you can, if you're more comfortable, you can uh, put some weight on it overnight. But this should be fine here. You should not be proud of this. Just make sure all those corners are pressed down nice. Don't break the phone case. And just like that. We'll grab the back piece, go ahead and stick it in, just like so, making sure it all fits good. And bam, there you have it. That right there is a tool phone case. Just making sure this is all pushed down, that's all. Push this in. Yeah. There you go, people. That is one tool phone case. One thing that's nice about the contact cement too, if there's any on the edge, you can just go ahead and it'll just rub right off. So, that's it. Hope you can enjoy the video. Like and subscribe for future videos. If you have any more ideas, just go ahead and drop them in the comments. Have a great day.